All right. Well, um, we are William Jewell College, and we're excited to share with you um, about Casey Scholars and about Jewell and um, how we work together because we're one of the partner schools. So we'll just start out by sharing a little bit about Jewell. My name is Julia. I am one of the admission counselors here and also on the call with me. Um, I have Olivia Engel, who is my partner, um, and she works with students up until the point where um, they submit their application, and then I work with students um, from there until um, the finish line whenever they hopefully decide to uh, join us here at Jewel. So a little bit about who we are. Um, so Jewel is a place that values courageous thought and diverse ideas. Uh, we educate our community to ask reflective questions, apply critical thought, and act with purpose. That is our mission here at Jewel. So that is what we live and do every day inside and outside the classroom. Um, we are a small private college. We're located in Liberty, Missouri, um, which is just north of the river. Um, and we have an average class size of about 16 um, and about a 10 to 1 faculty to student ratio. So you'll definitely get to know your faculty, um, professors, and peers really well. Um, all courses are taught by faculty, um, and then our faculty are actually our student advisors here. So you won't have an advisor who's not with you in the classroom or that you won't take a class from um, here at Jewel, and that's a really unique model that we um, know that our students really appreciate. And we are an Apple Distinguished School, so what that means is that um, we give all of our students iPads. So um, for freshman students or just first-year students, um, they come in, they get that iPad Pro, they get the Apple Pencil, and they get to use that the whole time that they're students, and then they also get to um, take that with them whenever they graduate. That's theirs to keep. Um, so that's really nice. So um, we have over 40 majors at Jewel to choose from, majors and minors. And we do our core curriculum a little bit differently. Maybe you haven't heard the term core curriculum, but you've heard the term gen eds um, that happens at larger schools. Um, and so here at Jewel, we do have classes that all students have to take, but that's part of our core curriculum. There's three levels to that. And we're teaching critical thought and inquiry. That's what it's called. And uh, all of our courses are rooted in philosophy and our discussion-based learning. So that's going to be definitely a different learning model than at a larger college um, where you might be in a lecture hall with um, 200 people or anything like that. It's going to be small class sizes here, and we're doing discussion-based learning, learning from each other and our own experiences um, and kind of jumping off of philosophers' ideas and going from there. We also have an Oxbridge Honors Program here at Jewel, which is very unique. And then we have our Honors Institute in Critical Thinking. Um, the Oxbridge Honors Program does require ACT, whereas the Honors Institute does not require ACT. We have um, all of our majors that I kind of mentioned there. So if you see something that um, is speaking to you or a path that you'd like to take, um, great. If you don't see what you're thinking on there, I would just encourage you to get with Olivia or I, and um, we'd love to help you find a path that works for you here at Jewel. Um, we know being a smaller school, it might seem like we don't have as many offerings, but what we do have is um, paths to the future that you want. So we would want to chat with you about that and kind of what you're thinking and where you're wanting to go. Again, just I'm um, reiterating on those honors programs. And then we also have pre-professional programs at Jewel. So even though we are a four-year undergraduate only college, um, we do have pre-professional advising, um, which is a path for students that want to go on to grad school um, for you know, pre-dentistry, law, medicine, optometry, physical therapy, um, occupational therapy, veterinary medicine. So a lot of options there. Um, we have a over 90% placement to jobs or grad school within six months for our students. We're really proud of that. And we think that that has a lot to do with that pre-professional advising that we do with our students, preparing them for their future. We also have a few dual degree programs. So engineering, um, anything outside of civil engineering would be our dual credit or our dual degree, whether um, we have environmental management, forestry, medicine, and uh, like I mentioned, occupational therapy. And just a few grad programs there for master's in teaching, uh, master's in science of um, curriculum and ins instruction. And then we also have artist diploma in voice, which is a newer one for us. So um, just going back to that core curriculum I was speaking about earlier, our critical thought and inquiry courses, 
Level one is um, courses that every single student takes. So all of our freshmen or transfer students, what have you, are gonna take responsible self, CTI 100. They'll also take identity and society, um, which is a two credit and seven week course. Um, and then mathematics and written communication, those two many students bring credit in from high school for. So if you take in dual credit or AP credit um, for any mathematics courses like college algebra, or pre-calc or anything like that, um, or if you've taken college English level courses, um, you might have that fulfilled um, for you before you even get to dual. Level two categories um, are classes that you'll take outside of your major. So if you are majoring in political science, um, which will be in the power and justice section, you're gonna take classes outside of your section. So you're gonna take classes in culture and tradition, sacred and secular, and the science, technology, and human experience to make sure that you're getting a very well-rounded um, degree from Juul. And then level three are capstone courses that you'll take your senior year. I like to call that just kind of the hat on top of the degree or the little topper. So you'll take that um, for the level or for the area that you're majoring in. And then you'll also take it for critical thought and inquiry. So we have opportunities for studying outside the classroom as well. So there's um, countless opportunities to study abroad, um, to intern here in the Kansas City area or outside of the Kansas City area, and also to um, do research um, domestically, you know, here in the States. So we have a study abroad office um, or an internship placement office here at Jewel. So uh, we do help students do that. And there's a few programs where internships are required. So all of our business and leadership programs, um, internships are required. And then, you know, if you're studying nursing, um, clinical placements are required. So those are very um, similar to internships if you're going into nursing. Um, and then journey grants are something that you can apply for to put towards that research or um, towards those um, study abroad opportunities. All right, so the important stuff, um, admission and financial aid and kind of how that looks here at Jewel. So we have done a tuition reset in the last year and that was not just due to COVID, it was something that we were talking about leading up to it. And um, now we've made that change officially and that's not gonna change back um, like I said, not due to COVID. So very um, great that we have this new tuition that is more approachable. Um, so it's 18,360 per year. So um, that is not per semester per year. Um, and the way that we do admission here is a holistic admission review process. So we are looking at your unweighted GPA and your core GPA. So that's GPA and your four classes. Um, but we are also looking at each application individually and reviewing it in case by case basis. So we're looking at the student and not just the numbers um, there. So how does Casey Scholars and Jewel work together? Like I mentioned before, we are um, one of the Jewel are one of the Casey Scholars partner schools, and we're excited about that. As you guys know, how Casey Scholars works is there's three levels. So students apply as 11th graders. Um, and that um, is for the traditional award. And they'll, if they receive that, they get up to $10,000 a year renewable for five years at one of the um, partner schools. And we're really excited to offer the Jewel Promise Award. And I'm gonna cover what that looks like and what that is in our next slide. Um, but Jewel Promise is stackable um, and automatically awarded with the traditional um, KC Scholars Award. So that full 10,000 award. There's also the college saving, savings match for ninth grade students. And so if you're a part of that, um, what you'll know is that it's a four to one match um, for students awarded and it doesn't exceed $5,000, but um, what you are putting into your college savings account, they're going to match for you um, to use. And then there's the adult scholarships uh, for students that are over the age of 24. Um, and that is $5,000 a year renewable for five years if awarded. So the Jewel Promise Award, we're really excited. We just rolled this out in November. So what it is, is um, what with the $10,000 traditional Casey Scholars Award, students will get an additional $8,360 from Jewel and um, called the Jewel Promise for Casey Scholars, and that will cover tuition fully for you. So for traditional awardees, nothing needs to be paid at Jewel on the tuition side. 
Now, what that also means is that if a Casey Scholar student applies to Jewel and upon admission, they're awarded our merit-based awards, um, which are for GPA and then also our ACT awards, or if they're a Casey Scholar and they're awarded a talent award, which is for participation in any of our arts programs um, that award talent awards or our athletic awards, um, they can't stack those, um, but it will be reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, so if that happens, uh, we will look at your award package with you because we want to make sure that you're getting the best um, offer possible. And we don't want to be taking anything away from you there. Um, like I said, it's awarded immediate, immediately. Um, and to qualify for the Promise Award, like I said, students must be awarded the KCS traditional scholarship and be fully admitted to William Jewell College. Fully admitted means um, not conditionally admitted. That's just straight admit. Um, and we can talk about that process um, if you do apply um, and accept it to Jewel. And then students just need to keep at least a 2.0 GPA here at Jewel to keep continuing receiving that. They need to continue filling out the FAFSA award as well. Now, if a student is Pell eligible, if a student is getting any grants from the state, um, they can still utilize those um, on top of this award. All right, just a little bit more about those academic talent and athletic awards that I briefly mentioned. Um, separate award amounts for GPA and um, ACT or SAT, those are all listed on our scholarship website, um, our scholarship webpage on our website. Um, starting at 500 all the way up to 7,500, those are our talent awards. So those are for um, performance and technical theater, musical theater, vocal music, instrumental music, orchestra, debate, cheer team, and dance team. So those are ways where you can audition and get additional awards, okay? And then we also have NCAA Division II um, sports here at Jewel, which means that our athletes are here on scholarship. So if you are pursuing athletic opportunities with Jewel, again, we wanna talk, um, <clears throat> if you are a traditional KC scholar um, recipient, we'd wanna talk about what's the best package for you. Okay, just some other awards that Jewel offers. Shaping the Future Grant, those are for um, students who are um, coming from diverse backgrounds um, and awarded up to 2000. So that is a separate scholarship opportunity for our students. They'll fill out the scholarship form um, and what they feel that they're going to do to shape the future. And then we award that up to $2,000 for those students. Um, that also um, counts for students who are going into a field where they would be in minority. Um, so there's that. Um, Heritage Scholarship is for students that already have alumni in their family, or they have like a sibling already attending Jewel. So mom or dad, brother or sister for that award, and that is $1,000 a year. And then the dual accents grants, those are um, amounts will vary, and those are awarded based on need. Um, so again, if you're a traditional KC scholar recipient, we're already giving the 8,360 on top of that. So you would un it'd be unlikely for you to re then receive a dual access grant on top of that. Okay. So Jewel has a four-year graduation guarantee. And what that means is that um, it eliminates for unplanned tuition. So at a lot of schools, what sometimes happens is um, you start on a degree plan and then there's a scheduling conflict. And that means that you have to stay for another uh, semester, maybe a summer um, in order to make sure that you're finishing in four years or you're unable to finish in four years. So at Jewel, uh, we're gonna make sure that you're finishing in four years. We have our faculty advisors that work with you every step of the way, making sure that you're making your grades um, and that you are gonna get out of here in four years. All of our programs are designed to only last four years. Um, now, if there's a scheduling conflict on our part, we will cover that. Um, so we're really proud of that four-year guarantee. Um, it helps our students get into the job market sooner. We know that that's very important for them, and we don't want to string them along and keep them here longer than they need to be. That being said, the, the national average for a four-year bachelor's degree is actually six years. So um, those scheduling conflicts and those things do happen at other schools. That's why we're really proud of our four-year graduation guarantee. And we also have three-year degrees available. So um, those include nursing, accounting, English, economics, 
business administration, communication, political science, physics, and psychological science, and also Spanish. So for students interested in pursuing any of those, you can do an accelerated degree, gets you out of here in three years. So we're really excited to offer that as well, which means one year less tuition. So there's many, many, many ways to be involved here on campus. Um, over 50 student organizations, um, anything from politics to Greek life to intramural sports and everything in between. Um, so you'll see some of our um, clubs listed there. Um, we also help you start your own if that's something that you want to do. Um, we love our arts programs. We have so many. Um, and then as mentioned earlier, we have our NCAA Division II athletics teams as well. So many ways to be involved on our campus. And our dual students are so involved. We feel it just really enriches our whole campus community to have involved students that are just enjoying their college experience. A few favorite campus traditions here at Jewel. Um, walk around the quad. So our quad is a beautiful space. And for first year students, whenever they get here, they do something called the walk around the quad on their move in day. And that symbolizes the start of their journey here at Duel. And their parents are, as you can see from the photo, they're watching, they're recording it. It's such a cool thing. And then whenever students graduate, uh, before they walk down to their graduated graduation ceremony, they get to walk around the quad again to symbolize the end of their journey. It's just very full circle um, and it's very emotional and very special. Um, our alumni um, talk about how it's some, one of their favorite things and something that they'll never forget. Another tradition that I absolutely love here at Jewel was something that happened this past Friday called the hanging of the green, the lighting of the quad. So it kicks off our holiday season here at Jewel. The hanging of the green ceremony is um, seniors that hang the green along the wall inside of our Gano Chapel. Um, our jazz band performs and our choir performs and snow falls from the ceiling and we have a visit from Santa. It's very cool. Um, and then we all come outside and we have, um, you can see in the photo of the candles and we all um, sing carols and then we flip the switch on the lights and that's a special member of our community that gets to flip that switch. Um, so from here on out until the end of the holiday season, our campus is lit up and decorated with greenery um, and it's very beautiful. So just some things that you might have seen um, the press say about Jewel. Um, we are 2020 colleges that contribute to the public good. Um, we think that that has a lot to do with that core curriculum and how we teach students to be critical thinkers. Um, and also, like I said, 99% um, of our students are employed or in grad school within six months of graduation. And 95% of our students receive financial aid. So we're really proud to be helping our students um, and again, giving them the best offer possible so that Jewel is very obtainable for them. So our application is open. We really encourage and hope that you will apply. It's a very simple application. Um, so there is just the normal information on our application and then a short creative essay on there. We wanna hear what time period you would visit if given the choice. Um, and so you can just go apply online. We also accept the Common App. So for students who are applying to multiple schools and they choose to use that Common App, we love the Common App too, and you can apply through that. All right, so any questions that you might have, we'd love to answer. And I'll also send this presentation to your um, teacher so that um, he can share this with you at any time. Um, I did have a quick question. Um, so obviously for Casey scholars who are traditional scholars, the tuition promise would definitely get their attention. Um, but is there, is there a date, like a deadline for students that they need to apply for that? Like just general application? Um, that we are rolling admission here at Jewel. So um, that means that a student can apply kind of all the way through the year. Um, I would say that because we do our student enrollment days in June, I would encourage students to have that application filled out. Um, and we like to say filled out and know that you've been admitted by May 1st since that is National Decision Day. Um, and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that Casey Scholars likes to know where you're attending so that they know where you're sending, uh, where they're sending that award to. Um, but other than that, we are um, rolling admission. 
Um, I will say that by um, February 1st, our scholarship offerings um, do start, so that's kind of our scholarship deadline. So those offerings can start diminishing there. So we wanna make sure that students get the best award possible. And so I would encourage students to apply by February 1st um, or at least by May 1st. Okay, great. And then I have one more question uh, for students yes. who are watching this. If students are interested in um, going to actually visit William Jewell in person, is that, a, is that an option and how will students go about signing up for that? Absolutely, thanks so much for that question. I can send you the link to our visit website, but it's just jewel.edu and then you'll um, click the inquire tab and drop down to visit. So um, all of our visits are listed and already on our website for the spring. Um, we do visits Monday through Friday. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we have that at 1015 um, and then at 2 p.m. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, our visits are at 930 a.m. So we are um, happy to show students around campus. They'll get a full campus tour from an admission counselor or one of our student tour guides. And then they will sit down with an admission counselor and get all of their questions answered. If a student is interested in sitting in on a class or meeting with faculty, we would encourage them to write that on their campus visit form so that we can make sure that's set up for them. Um, we love to get students in to see what that classroom experience is like um, and chat with a real professor as to what their program would look like for them um, if they did attend Jewel. All right, Reed, do you have any questions at all? Oh, I actually work at Jewel. I was just talking <laughs> on this. <laughs> Well, hey, if you still have questions, you can. <laughs> just kidding. Sorry about that. Hi, Reed. It's okay. Thanks, Dalton. <laughs> okay. Well, I will stop the recording. Um...